vermin. Okay, we got poultice here. Damn, okay, let's kick the trebuchet. This is not too useful here. Rathusa. Okay, this is a pretty weak and even for throwaway. I'm just gonna go with Leary and Leary and into Oratusa, then we pass. Hey, I'm like, yeah, we're taking this very seriously, mate. Yeah! Yeah! Sorry for my beta male advice. <laughs> Sense. As you wish, my lady. Playing that. Yes. Death not playing to too much either. Ooh. But that actually has a problem. If I pass now, what do you do? If I pass. You can only click on it if you go to a long round three, because you can't really push me round two. Alright, let's go to long ground three. What could go wrong? Well, we gotta have something on the board that we throw away. I suppose it can be Delirian Arbalest. This is just kinda crazy. Uh, do I even want it? Well, we might want Delirian Arbalest. Lyrian Arbus is one of the better ones. Ooh. Actually, doesn't it? I think this, this kind of sucks in this matchup. Uh, I guess we're playing that? I just threw away a gold card. We don't want to throw away the, the bronze card. We retreat. We what? Ah. What? Are you crazy? How do you do that? So Vess might be able to blow this up. I don't have a way to kill it right away. I'm a little surprised that he... I don't know, that makes no sense. There's no way he's gonna play a, play a card here. He's two cards down! That's just the throw away. Yeah. Pass. He would be crazy! Playing down to seven? Yeah. This is pretty good. So that's an excellent card. And I think we're just gonna keep it. We have uh, three mages. We can copy it. And we're gonna have three of these suckers on the board. I just really like the kind of cards I get. Uh, Maybe we're just gonna start with Queen Adala. We're gonna play in the front. There are things in the universe Look at this guy. Even the sages have not dreamt. Uh, Queen Adala will tell us about the universe. <gasps> Very interesting! To arms! Oh, I would like to murder that man. Uh, maybe just... Yeah. Yes. And just get out another one of these suckers. As you command. And the murder, murder begins. Just kill everything. I established on the board, and this guy is just completely out of the game. One of them is tall. One of them has a shield, and one of them is naked. This is like the, how's it called? The French trio of swordsmen. Oh, fuck! I forgot their name. We can also kill that. Zap, zap, zap. We can just kill that. We just machine guns. It works. 
Enemy doesn't know that he should escape enter already. Well, maybe we're just gonna play with the Gota here. Try to protect the one guy who is naked. Establish the Yennefer here. We're not killing anything yet. We're planning to wipe everything. But we could have killed Yennefer. These dogs have no honor. Well, I can technically do that with Foltus, so. Not like we. Really dodge too much here. But we we would have avoided that. Anyway. Uh, let's go with Botchlang. It's about them time to play it. I'm just gonna keep these. Oh, now nah, Botchling. That's what I like. Let's kill the Botchling. Let's kill his Botchling and make it mine. Sword. Oh, look at that! He has a guy in the back! That's cool! That's cute! Let's see how long it's gonna live. It's interesting. Oh, he gave up. What a pussy. He had no faith in his deck. And his man. Alright, GG. Sons of Nilfgaard! Okay, we got a Nilfgaard here. And Nilfgaard means that he's gonna be either playing dumb soldiers that are gonna get completely owned, or he's gonna play more removal. I doubt it, because else he would be playing a different leader. And, uh... And mostly he would get owned anyway. But it would be harder. So this way he's just gonna get completely destroyed. No likelihood. And I go first. Brewer out of 10? <laughs> Tier 1. Are you playing Porto? I don't, I'm not playing Porto. I don't like Porto too much. We are playing three crappy cards here. Starting with the Lyrian Cavalry. We are playing in the back. Just to avoid. Okay. Seems like he's not playing too much either. I think it's kind of justified to play a trebuchet, although... Yeah. Kind of depends on how we're gonna play this. He played two engines. Oh, uh, we can play a spell Not lever. You. Of course. <laughs> I ignored your rating. That is what you folk lack. Yeah, you included the bad word in it, Sudo. That's not cool. <laughs> we, it needs to be PG-13. Annoying, but uh, disgusting, but counterable enough. Hmm. As you wish, Mr. Hmm. Played him earlier at soldiers. <laughs> well. So so far, he played two engines, one deck dining, and one that doesn't matter. But do we want to push him? I'm thinking no. These soldiers decks tends to like the long ground as well, but that's kind of a mistake. And I don't think he has the, the kahunas to push me round two. Even if he does, he's most likely gonna lose the card. Okay, that could be useful as a throwaway. I don't know what I want here. I still want to draw into some good cards. Maybe we kick Prince Villain. Uh, we're keeping this. I mean, some decks are can bleed Hansel pretty well. Also, if the Hansel setup got countered, it's also GG. I've seen a boring but effective deck earlier. Is is It was a... I'm about to say Dagon, but no. It was a Woodland Spirit that uh, had a special strategy. 
Uh, let's put it in the back. Remember His plan was to win round one, which I gave him very easily. But then he decided to push round two, but with a with a, a trick, he also wanted to play a phoenix with Karen Tear and the Phoenix. He knew that he's gonna lose a card, but he had eight points of carryover for later. Which is I suppose should make up for it. And also he has he's a woodland spirit, so he's gonna get plus eight points. I think it's pretty obvious at this point that he's he's intending to push me. He's he's pretty committed to to do that. So we're gonna play Botchling here. Man. I mean I can see eight soldiers in the first two seconds. Yeah, let's play Yennefer Conjurer. Actually, we might just go with uh Cynthia and Spellweaver first. It's not just soldiers, it's... He it also has a lot more uh, removal in it. He might... He probably has lock. I think he just locked. I gotta double up on this uh, trebuchet now. We have a chance. We probably have to play Aquis soon. Should use all his points. Okay, I underrated this guy. We should have uh, went against him harder. Round one. I gotta steal that. Critical thinking, the sign of a healthy mind. <laughs> gotta be all Kristen to Sabrina. Did she pass? I know this looks pretty terrible, but he might just be forcing just a long round free. I mean, a short round free. And I'm not even convinced that he's uh, going to win it. Wise choice. Kind of depends on whether he can kill Arcus or not. So Arcus is gonna be 14 points, but we also have Sabrina. This is not ideal. Maybe we should have forced round one. This is actually gonna be more common as we climb the ladder, so I'm gonna be more eager to try to fight for round one. Okay, Lyrian Arbalest, double Lyrian Arbalest is good. We can also gain access to a gold card, but that would suck. But other ones would be pretty awesome. Lock could be good. Some cards just just bad. Go with here. Can I win with this hand? I think it's possible. Hey, what am I doing here? I already used up my hero power. Uh, we gotta go with Prince Villain first. A king faces difficult choices. My great granddaughter will do great things. <laughs> anyway, it's still gonna be okay. Okay. I'm 
might get locked. I don't think we have to shut down anything. This is annoying. Oh. We can use the lock later. I got uh, three points left. Actually, no. Five points left. Nothing to lock. I hope we can trust you. And apparently, that was good enough. I don't really like these short rounds because not only uh, that's not how I'm supposed to win. But also, it's just complete RNG. It's just a lot of like, top deck, give me free cards, let's go. That's kind of how it goes. GG.